Uh, Johnny, 12 months since you joined Cliftonville, uh, I know no player comes to a football club and says, oh, I think it's probably going to be rubbish. You said you had reasonably high expectations. Could you really have predicted that first season, personally and for the team? Um, probably not, no. I, I don't really know. My head probably wasn't really overly thinking about the team in terms of the aspirations last year. It was just coming here trying to I suppose, get myself fit again and um, get myself in the team. And I haven't do that, and obviously the success came with that in terms of winning the League Cup and going on the good league campaign. Um, but no, probably didn't expect it, and yeah, it was, was nice in the end, supposed to be able to compete at the top end of the table. And as always happens when a team has a good season, it raises expectations for the following campaign. What's the mood in the dressing room like with those expectations upon them now? Um, it's it's genuinely something that we haven't really discussed to be honest. I mean, if, if a few of the boys are we know sort of what we have in the change room now is of high quality. Um, I don't think it's anything that needs to be talked about. We know sort of what we're capable of, um, but we're also under no illusions that other teams will have strengthened and be better than last year. Um, so to repeat. Even what we did last year would be an achievement in itself in terms of coming close again. Um, but yeah, there probably will be expectations probably outside the change room. We've always probably set our own expectations quite high um, in terms of what we expect of each other and demand of each other. So that hasn't changed, I don't think. Um, but probably for people on the outside looking in, they'll, they'll probably expect more of us here this year and that'll bring its own pressure and we'll have to deal with that as the season goes on. It's something most usually associated with teams that have had a good year after being promoted, but second season syndrome, if you believe in such a thing, is something that affects teams that have been in the league for a long time and have had a good season kind of out of the blue and one of them not been expected to and they don't necessarily always follow that up. That, that can be a motivating factor. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that, that I've, I know I've thought of personally. I had a season at Balamino where we finished second in the next year. Um, it was cut short with COVID, but at the time I think we were ninth or tenth in the league. Whenever the season was cut short, so um, absolutely, there's you can't take anything for granted in the league. Um, it's going to be even tougher this year, um, but we'll be making sure that, that we're not complacent in any way, shape, or form. And, and we know we have a tough start away to Cold Rain, and it's important to hit the ground running. A lot of what we did last year was off the back of a good start to the season, getting three wins in the first week. Um, and so we'll be able to do something similar this year and really hit the ground running again. And you just touched on it, they're a tough place to go at the best of times, Cold Rain. If you put yourself in their shoes, coming up against a team that has such a good record against them last season, that, yeah. that brings all its own motivations, doesn't it? Absolutely, I'm sure that's what they'll be saying in the changing room. And um, again, those results could work very differently this year and they could have worked differently last year. Some of the games were very, very tight and we just happened to win them by the odd goal. Um, even the cup final sort of flipped on its head towards the end of the game. So they're a quality side. They've probably changed a lot over the summer in terms of the signings that they brought in, four or five really good signings. Um, so they'll be a, a different animal this year and something that we'll have to be wary of next Saturday.